Hey hey friends and welcome back to another very quick unboxing video. Today we received something from a community member which I'm very very excited to unbox. It is a 3D print of Majora's mask, the mask that everyone sees on the very very beginning of Majora's mask that Skull Kid wears in the game. Um, very excited to open this. Also, huge shout out to Red Rum for actually uh, making this for me, 3D printing this for me. I didn't actually expect anyone to do it, but I was very excited when they actually said that they did and that they sent it to me. So I'm very, very happy. <laughs> and I guess here's a little unboxing video. I will um, paint it later on i do plan on priming it off stream but uh painting it on stream so we can have the the actual colors of the mask but for now i do have it only in the 3d print plastic color which is white anyway to the unboxing obviously we've crossed out my name stab no i'm not gonna do that <laughs> i won't break it um gonna make sure open it correctly. don't want to be... getting... anything... ruined? broken? I don't want to ruin anything. Does it want to work? There we go. Unboxing. Ooh. I was actually uh, holding this earlier and I was thinking like it is so light um, so I was very worried that there was nothing in there of course but we do have something oh I dropped it all, right. all the packaging empty box check it down to the side now first thing I'm pretty sure there's nothing in this this is just extra packaging which is fine first thing we're going to box or unwrap I guess is the stand so for anyone that didn't know I uh, got one of the community friends to make me a Majora's mask if you can see it, the shape of this it is a Triforce stand which is really really cool um, it is only in white it hasn't been painted because I want to paint it myself on stream so that footage will come later um, which I'm really excited about. I am going to prime it, but this has already been sanded down um, and it's in good enough condition to just be primed straight away. Um, but we've got the stand there and then in this one we've got the little Majora's Mask. It is a little bit on the uh, dirty set, but like I said, it is only um, it, it still needs to be painted and still needs to be cleaned and still needs to be primed and everything, which is fine. But that's the little progress. It has been sanded, so there is some dust and things coming off onto it. How cool is that? There are little Majora's mask. And so it actually sits on the stand. And I figure out how. I will let you guys know. It might take me a moment just sits on there quite neatly and yeah I'm gonna paint it on stream so I hope I add that footage now okay friends I finally decided that I've put off this project long enough and I have dedicated today to painting the Majora's Mask uh, model that I have been given um, but it started to rain, so I'm going to wing it and do it indoors with a cardboard box. Here's my little friend in the box, uh, absolutely tiny. Um, I think this is the best coverage I'm going to get. Luckily that is completely sealed with tape, so it's not like I'm going to get primer anywhere. Um, and I feel like the most important part is probably the face, so even if the primer doesn't really do a good job on the rest of it, it's going to be painted anyway. Um, and I can kind of hide the back of it if it doesn't look good. Right now I'm just using a Duramax plastic primer for plastic surfaces because it says that it, it should be good for furniture, downpipes and toys. Um, I think that falls under the category of toys maybe, so I think this will be the primer that I use. 
Alright, just figuring out how to hold this with one hand so that my tripod isn't, um, isn't charged, so... Sorry if it's shaky. anyway so it shouldn't matter too much like I actually got too much drippage like I thought which is good but that is completely covered and sticky now so I guess I just have to let it dry before I get in with some acrylic paints so when I actually started painting the 3d print I wasn't aware that it would take me over five and a half hours to finish so this part is actually time-lapse The first thing I did was work on the base colours, purple, red and yellow of course. I jumped in a call with some friends to chat while I painted to pass time and it was actually a lovely way to spend the afternoon. painted the stand just a dark brown because I kind of wanted to imitate wood. At this point I realised that my phone wasn't recording on the best angle but it was kind of a little bit late so I wanted to use this footage anyway. I did a second coat of the base colours before starting to add some details like the orange gradient to the eyes and other colours on the spikes. After finishing the eyes and the spikes I realised that I needed to add a bright green for the pupils and green underneath the eyes in the cheeks of the mask. I also realised that there were orange sections at the very top around the spikes so I needed to paint a few coats of orange to really cover up the purple. For the outline I didn't actually have any black so I mixed my dark brown paint with a deep blue to get an almost black. I started to fill in the details like the triangles above the eyes and the white outline around the features. Here's the mask more or less finished. 
My phone actually died at this point and so I painted the rest of the stand off of camera but I opted for a goldish yellow finish so the base kinda looked like the Triforce. After I let this dry for about a day, it was time to put a clear coat on them. Going over with the semi gloss clear coat for durability inside and outside. Can you shine? Well, we did it friends after days slash weeks of working on the Majora's Mask uh, 3D print I finally got it all painted all ready to go and it is completely finished if it'll focus on there I think it's very cute I am very proud of all of the painting I did it sits perfectly on the stand and if you watch my streams now you can see them up in the background of my streams. I think that's about it for this video um, but I hope to do more art projects and cosplay stuff in the future to be posted on here at a later date um, so if you're keen to see more things like that please feel free to subscribe or comment down below what exactly you would like me to make otherwise yeah Thank you all so much for being here, I really really appreciate it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye!